I am hearing what sounds like a kid screaming. I think there's somebody sitting right on that step. What is up everyone? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So I've made it back to the location. I'm being as careful as I can this time because the last time I almost got hit with a bat. And because of that, no, I, I don't know if you guys watched my vlog channel, but for those of you who haven't, I actually had to go into the town to try to find a gun. Uh, any way that I could to just find something that I could use as a deterrent to stop from me getting hit by a baseball bat or whatever could happen. Luckily, I found something. It's a Beretta. I had to get this and I found it. And a guy sold it for me for about 120. I'm kidding, it's not real. It's actually completely plastic, see? Not real at all, but this could actually help me to not get hit with a baseball bat, if anything. But uh, yeah, it works good, it looks cool. Everything else is completely plastic, and I'm gonna be using this to, uh, you know, pretty much just have it on me or just, my only hope is that they don't have something, and then next thing you know, I, now it's a, you know, I brought a plastic toy to a fight, you know? So that's the worst case scenario. I'm not sure what's going on tonight. I think there's like this big ceremonial thing, a religious function. Everybody's on the roads. Everyone's trying to do things. I mean, I haven't even started the video to do my intro and you're about to see it right now. I ran into this. So I'm about to start recording and I have a guy with a flashlight further up there. I don't know if you see that They don't see me yet. I'm hiding behind a tomb. I'm gonna actually get out of this area because there's a lot more than me. I wanted to record with my other camera, but by the time I went back, they were already gone and there was nothing there. So I guess I might have startled them. But anyway, hopefully in this video, praying to God that everything turns out well, I don't end up getting hurt. And uh, I do have my knife, this, if I have to like pull it out, if I have no option. I mean, I'd rather scare somebody off, last resort. That being said, Wish me luck, and let's get into the video. As you can see, it is now a full moon. Beautiful mountaintops, the moon is just coming out, so hopefully that doesn't bring out all the crazies tonight. Because I heard there's a rumor, when there's a full moon, the violence increases all around and people do more crazier things, so. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but I'm gonna find out tonight. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but in the last video, uh, I came here out of nowhere, completely random out of everything that else was going on. An old lady came out of the back saying, Mira, mijo, bang, bang, Mira, Mira, or whatever. And I wasn't going to go over there, but I want to see if, hopefully, if she's not there tonight. ¿Qué pasó? I could go check it out and see what the hell was going on around that area. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm actually kind of curious. What the heck was she talking about? Is that something over there? Oh, I think that's a bunch. For me, it looks like something's just standing there. Oh God. I thought I saw someone. This place messes with you. Down there is where these people are probably heading. They took off that way, heading that way over here. I'm around the area where I seen what looked like a candle, but I don't see anybody here anymore. They, they're gone. But I gotta be careful because I am seeing people within the distance. From what I just seen before. I hear a whole bunch of people yelling from behind me. It's kind of like pushing me more this way. What the fuck was that about?
I don't know where to go. If I go this way, there's somebody there now. They just saw me. I'm standing in the middle of the area here, clear as day. And I saw a whole bunch of people up here. It was like a crew of people. I don't know if they're the same person. Or maybe I'm walking into a trap. I've seen a couple of comments that you guys wrote. And, uh... You guys were saying, you gotta be careful, Frank, because they know you're there. The problem is, is that what I had planned tonight was to head towards this area. I thought I spent, like, the last three days thinking that it would be empty. I'm gonna actually breach in from the right, watching my left. Thing is, I do, I feel a little bit more confident tonight because I got this, you know, gun type of thing. How much enough my IR? There's something running. What the hell was that? That thing took off. Saw something running back there. bad news I got my book bag I got everything ready to go to make this video and for the first time ever I forgot to bring my flashlights I have no flashlights on me just what I have on my camera and the IR light so I might be sticking to night vision because it's going to be hard for you guys to see anything look this is where the lady came out of last video some stuff on the floor. I don't remember seeing this the last time. I don't know if that's what you wanted to show me. Or what. I just heard a kid's. See someone staring at me.
I'm gonna get out of this area. Cause I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walking towards that direction up there. So right now, I do have my radio. And if you guys don't know, I found this radio here at the graveyard. It was inside of a tomb. I asked if it belonged to any of the security officers and they said that they have all their radios. But they let me hold on to it because I'm always coming here. And every now and then I get like a weird frequency. The thing is, is that none of the security guys ever use their radios out here. But I do get weird frequencies through this thing. And so that's why I always bring it with me. Especially towards the area where I'm going now. Which is where I gotta be extremely careful. Because this is where I got chased with a bat. Because of two chotos. Or two, uh bandits. It is extremely hot where I am right now. It's like the peak of summer. Or now going into winter soon eventually, but it has just been ridiculously hot. I'm probably going to switch this camera to my Psyonix so that way it emits no light whatsoever because this thing has like a camera screen in the back. Let's see how this goes. This is the exact spot where I got chased. I don't know if these guys are still here or if they left. But this is where the children's cemetery part is. something literally right when I passed through this area I picked something up I don't know what to do I'm just gonna keep walking on the radio though. I want to kind of keep it on me. There it goes again. I'm nervous to keep continuing because this is where I see the man just staring at me. Baseball bat. I do have my stuff on me this time. I'm not trying to say that I want to, you know, get the guy or whatever. But if it's like a deterrent, that would be amazing. There's a random seat here. I am hearing what sounds like a kid screaming or yelling coming from this side. Hola! Hear it? It's saying... It sounds like it's saying mommy. It sounds like it's coming from this side. Hola? Niño? What the fuck? 
¿Está bien? ¿Está perdido? Niño, ¿tú estás perdido? Háblame. It's not even fucking moving. Fuck. You hear him? Hold on, I'm gonna switch to my thermal. See if I can pick up a signature, if anything. No, it just looks like somebody's sitting there. It just looks like a circle, I think. That could be its head. Está bien? Jesus Christ, that's creepy. I want to see if there's another signature here. Nothing. Está bien, niño? just sitting right there watching me. Let's see if I turn on my IR. You can't see it. It's too far up there. The thing is, I don't know if this kid's got friends or if there's anybody else here. I don't know if this kid's got friends around or if he's with the people that I seen the last time. I don't want to get anywhere near him just for my safety. But he is not moving. Either the kid is gone or the kid went hiding. Try not to get caught. I'm not going over there. I'm not going to continue going back there because 100% there was a kid just sitting there. And as soon as I was watching the kid, I started hearing noises of somebody walking right in front of me with a flashlight. And it almost looked like the same guy that came chasing after me the last time. And I almost got caught. But now the kid is gone. And there's nothing there now. I'm going to get out of this area because I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I'm being watched. And I feel like whatever or whoever's here is aware of me and either messing with me I know you guys a lot of you guys called it in the comments to be careful because they know you're there and they're 
they're not afraid of you or whatever. And I think you guys are right. Let me see if I can head to another area here. I'm just trying to make sure that this guy does not come popping out of nowhere. Hola. He just found me and I thought he was going to tear me apart. But he's friendly. Show me the way. I'm looking for ghost. I shall call you chocolate. But in Spanish I'll call you chocolate. That's it. Chocolate is gone. Sorry if I sound tired today. I, I'm, I think I'm sick. My body feels weak and I got my eyes sore. I think the dog's gone. But yeah, I'm holding on as much as I can for this video. I wasn't expecting. Oh, what is that? Look at the sky. There's something flying in the sky. What the hell is that? That thing took off, too. It's silent. What's wrong? Que pasó? It's like the dog is on. <laughs> no, no, no. I have never seen anybody inside this room. And it's one of the creepy rooms. They're like praying on the inside. I can still hear them. They're like doing a prayer on the inside and the dog is still over there. For some reason, the dog was trying to stop me from going down through here, too. Like, he didn't want me to go over there. Holy shit. I think I'm going to take a break for today. I'm not feeling too well at the same time. But there's just too much people here. Every turn I've went to, I've went to the other side, the north, south, and east. And every side I'm going to, there seems to be people there doing some weird shit. Let alone the, the guy with the flashlight was towards the middle area. I don't know if they just don't want me here or what, but there is a lot of people here than what there should be. They're still screaming. You hear it? They're still screaming inside the tomb. It's complete darkness in there. That place used to have a whole bunch of caskets. They're just singing. Oh, that is creepy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you another way. At this point now, I'm gonna start heading out of here. There's just too many people here tonight. I really wanted to do a good video, but I feel like there's just too much going on. Um, and plus, on top of that, I'm not really feeling too well. I kinda wanna rest. I'm, I'm still a little bit sick. We're getting sicker, I don't know. I hope it's just a small type of sickness. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I apologize that this video came out a little bit too fast. It wasn't as long as I wanted. I usually try to go for a certain time, but the half of this video I've been running and hiding from people because I've been seeing people in every freaking direction. But uh, yeah, and plus on top of that, I'm not feeling too well tonight. So apologize if my voice sounds raspy or if my face looks swollen, I'm sick. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Wish me luck. I'm going to see if I can find a way out of here where it's safe and I can get an Uber and get back home. Till then, 
I love you guys. Check out my Patreon if you haven't. It helps and supports the channel. If you guys like, um, you guys could also check out my Franco TV Travels or Franco Travels channel where I purchased my fake gun in the sketchy neighborhood just to make sure I'm a little bit safer today. And I still don't feel safe because it's plastic. But anyway, I digress. I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye, guys. Yeah.